Hej allihopa, jag heter Mona, jag är från Schweiz, äh, jag håller svenska. Hey Aliupa, welcome back to another video from Sane in Swedish. It's been a while because I've been to Stockholm to research a little bit for you and today we're gonna talk about free stuff that you can do in Stockholm. If you're into museums and that kind of stuff and I think if you're like a common traveler who goes abroad you most likely want to visit at least one museum. Maybe you don't, but if you do, you'll be happy to know that we have a ton of free museums in Stockholm because they are state-owned or city-owned, so they are free, which is pretty cool. And I enjoy these museums uh, myself. I don't go very often, but still, I've been there to most of these and they are pretty cool. So the oldest museum in Sweden is situated I think kind of beneath the royal palace in Stockholm, the royal castle, and it's the royal armory, Livrustskammaren, and it's free. It's pretty cool if you want to look at old stuff. It was founded by a king called Gustav II Adolf, kind of the father of the Swedish empire, because Sweden was, was an empire, it was pretty big back in the day. And actually, I'm in Germany here, and he died not very far from here in Lützen. You can see wagons, you can see old clothes from kings. For instance, Gustav III was shot at a masquerade and murdered. And um, you can see what he wore at that day. And you can see the bullet holes. So that's pretty cool. It's very nicely preserved. And also other uniforms from kings and so on. So be sure to check that out. That's very cool, I think at least. <laughs> we also have the medieval museum, which I think is very cool. I went there a lot with my brother and my father, and as it's free, it's, yeah, you can go there a lot. And it's particularly cool because uh, it's on a excavation site. They uh, restored or renovated the bridge that goes to the royal castle and they found some very cool like tunnels and and uh, walls and so on. So they decided to under the bridge they decided to build a museum around this and it's pretty cool, so you will uh, get a hint of Stockholm, a taste of Stockholm during the medieval times if Gamla Stan is not enough for you, the old town, which is also very medieval-like, but if that's not enough for you, you can go to, to this museum free of charge. It's basically on the same island, so as the old town, so it's not gonna be far. So you can go there and you can go to the Royal Armory just on the other side of the castle. <laughs> if you like general history, you can go to the History Museum, Historiska Museet, and Scandinavia has a very rich history and pre history basically you know stone age and iron age and we have we have vikings and so on and um, if you want to learn more about that and artifacts found from that era or rune stones and so on then be sure to visit that museum as well and if you like more uh, natural history basically about nature dinosaurs and stuff we have Naturhistoriska Riksmuseet. Kind of a tongue twister. Naturhistoriska Riksmuseet. Right? Try to say that. Naturhistoriska Riksmuseet. So it's the, the Museum of Natural History. And uh, it's very cool because they have exhibition about dinosaurs. You can see huge uh, skeletons. I, I guess they are not real. But anyway, it's a pretty cool uh, exhibition. And also they have or had uh, Sweden's only IMAX cinema because it's kind of a cool cinema actually. It's like a, it's like a, what's it called? G globe from within. So you can sit there and you feel like you are, you are moving uh, when you watch a movie about space or something like that. It's not used for normal uh, Hollywood movies. We now have IMAX cinemas for that pretty recently opened, but that was Sweden's only IMAX cinema, not for regular movies, but for documentaries and so on. And that was not or is not free, but it's pretty cool. 
if you want to uh, explore that as well when you're at that museum for free. As I said before, Sweden was an empire back in the day and even if we didn't partake in the world wars actively, we at least try to stay prepared. So we have a pretty rich military history as well. So why not try to visit the army museum, which is also free of charge. And that's also a pretty cool museum uh, in the middle of the city. Now, if you're into art, of course, you need to visit Sweden's largest art museum, which is National Museum, the National Museum. And yeah, you can go there and see a bunch of cool paintings of international and Swedish artists, basically. It's, it's also pretty cool. Actually, I don't think I've been there, but I know there are some cool paintings that we see in our history books uh, when we learn about Swedish history, for instance, um, and I know they hang, they are hanging there in real life, which is pretty cool. So I will definitely go there and visit at one point, very soon, hopefully. Lastly, I wanted to tell you that if you're going to that natural museum, that natural history museum, you can go across the street to the botanic garden, Bergeonska Trägon, which is free of charge if you don't go into one of those big, I don't even know what to call them in English, but halls with flowers and so on. If you just want to stroll in the garden, that's free. So be sure to check that out as well. And if you're not into museums at all, that's totally fine. There are other things that you can do as well for free. Uh, yeah, you can just stroll, have a stroll in Stockholm. The old town is very nice, as you might know, if you're interested in going to Stockholm. It's very well pres preserved on one island. It's basically how Stockholm looked when it started to, to uh, grow basically during medieval times, which pretty, pretty nice. I think it's very well preserved and I love to walk there and feel history basically taking place exactly where I am. And that might sound a little bit cheesy, but I really, I really like to be there as a Swede myself. So maybe, uh, or not maybe, you should really check it out at least. Uh, for a short time, just go there. It's not a huge place. It's an island with a lot of old houses, basically, and the royal palace and so on. We have a very narrow street there called Morten Trotsigsgrend, an alley, which is very narrow, I think 90 centimeters, which is, yeah, it's barely one meter. I know, it's pretty, it's pretty narrow, let's say that. And <laughs> it also might not sound very cool, but go through there and be amazed. Also, we have the world oldest bank building there in that old town, so be sure to check that out. Not much to see, but it's just, for me at least, it's very cool to just visit historic places. You, you know that this is the first bank ever built for instance and that's pretty cool and uh, yeah there are tons of nice restaurants and cafes there so you can enjoy that and uh, yeah obviously that's not free you have to pay for your food but uh, still it's a very nice place to be and if you want to go out a little bit you can do that you can visit for instance Cooks Kyrkogården which is a woodland cemetery in English. And it's just a very nice place. It's a cemetery, so it's not really, you shouldn't act like a tourist when you are there. And obviously you should have some dignity and so on. But it's a very, very calm and nice place. And you can find the, the tombstones of various famous Swedes there, if you want. Do some research. I'm not gonna tell you all the names. I don't know who who you really like to meet, <laughs> but 
uh, you get the deal is a very nice and big cemetery so you will definitely find some famous Swedes on there who have uh, passed away I also think you should visit the city library Stadsbiblioteket and it might sound very very boring to most people but it's an amazing building if you go in there it's you will see a round room with several floors and it's just like being in a church a, a bit odd weird church but it's like a church for literature it's a very cool building so if you're in close like if you're nearby if you're uh, at Udenplan which is the area there if you're there go in it's free to go in go in and just enjoy this cool space and obviously uh, most people will be quiet there so you it's a very nice and quiet place and you will just stand there in awe because I, it's very cool it's a very cool building uh, so it's not like something that will take up your whole day but it's cool to do anyway and if you want some more to do you can go to the parliament and have uh, I, yeah there are free tours there if you want to see the Swedish parliament and there are also free art tours there because they have some art so if you're into that stuff you can do that too uh, I think it's only opened on on the weekends basically because they don't want to disturb people working there so I mean that's obvious but go there you that's free I remember going to the parliament with my school and we had to go through a metal detector and give some stuff up uh, for security uh, and it's pretty unusual because normally in Sweden we don't need to do that because people don't walk around with guns normally and it's something we do at airports basically so it's pretty unusual and pretty exciting for for someone going there with their school is something else actually going through a metal detector and so on but it's pretty interesting uh, getting a free tour and uh, to see where the parliament works basically and one interesting thing is that there are two buildings I don't know how much they show but one building is the old parliament building with two chambers because we had uh, by uh, cameralism which is pretty cool so two old chambers and hopefully you will get to see those uh, during the tour and the other building is the old uh, um, bank actually the old central bank but both uh, both buildings are now used as the parliament buildings basically but those two chambers those old chambers those are very cool to see I think so hopefully you will be able to do that now if you're going to Stockholm you're probably gonna have a ticket for public transportation right so what I'm gonna mention now is not free but basically free because you are gonna have it anyway so what I want to want to suggest to you is that you take the ferry to Jurgården it's a short boat trip very short boat trip but you can enjoy Stockholm from the water I mean Jurgården or Jurgon as we say Jurgon is just an island with a very very short bridge in Stockholm you can take the tram or you can just walk over there are uh, some museums there we have Granalund which is an amusement park actually we have Skansen which you might have heard of which is a huge outdoor museum and so on it's a very nice place it's a bit rural actually but in the middle of the city and the area around uh, Jurgon is very rural although it's basically in the city which is pretty cool but you can take your uh, you can take your ticket for public transportation and just go on the ferry and go over uh, the water which is pretty nice also I think you should visit Vaxholm because that's a very nice little town basically and there is a fortress there which is pretty cool Vaxholm's castell but it's just has just it's it has such a nice uh, small town Swedish 
flair to it and it's not in Stockholm but it's basically in, it's very close it's basically on the border to Stockholm but on an island but we have bridges so you can just take the bus there or pay a little bit extra and take a ferry over uh, it's very nice and very calm it's a very nice place to be actually I think so you get a little bit of archipelago flair as well at least and and small town flair if you like that so be sure to check that out and obviously lastly I want to mention the subway system if you're into art there are a bunch of nice uh, subway stations with some art that you can check out. It's called the longest art exhibition uh, in the world or something like that. So be sure to check that out as well. Make it, uh, do some research online as well so you will see exactly where you want to go and how to uh, do this. I also think there are tours um, but they are probably not gonna be free or anything like that and lastly I can say there are tons of stuff to discover around Stockholm as well so I need to cover that in another video hopefully you learned something or at least you you got to to get some ideas what you want to do uh, when you visit and if you want to learn some Swedish before going you can do that on sadieswish.com where I got free lessons for you and if you want to support me you can do that on Patreon and we will see each other in the next video. Hori bra, push the gram, hey do. And I really want to say a huge tack so mycket to my patrons, especially Kelly Primo. Thank you so much for being a patron. And if you have some time over, watch this video. Why not? Who's stopping you? <laughs>